Our next speaker is uh, Emily uh, from uh, IBM Cor Corporation. She's a distinguished uh, engineer in IBM, and she's going to talk about, as you see, data scientists are very employable. Thank you. Um, as a nod to the Canadians, I do have one of my three degrees from the University of Waterloo, so I can uh, relate to uh, the Canadians in the audience. Um, my manager and I have done a lot of work lately to understand what data scientists would be in IBM. We're trying to define, we're in the progress of, a process of defining a job role for data scientists. So we spent quite a bit of research looking at different articles. Uh, yes, it, it used to be a unicorn, but I think it's taking shape so that you can actually find real practicing data scientists who are not unicorns or who are more normal people. Um, I like the Rao article and the Granville article. The Rao gave five disciplines. Uh, I, would, I oriented them a little bit differently, but there was communication, business acumen, which is also very important, we, I agree. Uh, hers was more, or his was more technically towards statistics as opposed to a T-shaped breadth, which I think is important. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. And then it was more towards programming than using the tools. I think it's more important to use the tools today than to program. And then lastly, the fifth one was uh, database technology. And I think it's more important to understand data than the database technology. But we'll get into that. And Granville's article, very thoughtful, very thorough, looking at 16 different analytic disciplines and talking about what a data scientist needs to know about that discipline. Very good article. So skills. What, what do we think at IBM a data scientist needs to have? Six skills. Three are more technical towards analytic skills. Three are more business skills. So on the analytic side, uh, you need to have, you need to be like an expert in one or two, but you need to have the breadth of the other analytic disciplines to know which one to use or who to call to build the team that you're going to need. So it's like a computer science major doesn't know deep about everything about computer science, but they have a broad education and they can know a little bit about a lot of things. Uh, next is the tools. Experience using the tools to solve problems is very important. Many different tools today, you don't even know all of them, but if you know a few of them, a predictive modeling tool, a data mining tool, a um, business exploration tool, you can uh, move to another tool pretty easily. Next, uh, experience working with large amounts of data for insight. So you need to have that experience, being able to uh, look, analyze data, um, organize it, format it, integrate it, pull insight from it. So those are more of the technical analytic skills. On the right, though, are some business acumen skills. And these, except for an MBA program, you don't often learn these in school today, but it's important to know how business works, how, what a business process is, uh, how to do transformation, how to transform a business from point A to point B. Another communication, you may learn some of this, this also gets into visualization, but being able to communicate your results, and this actually mirrors what uh, Richard and Boris talked about as well. And then lastly, and I haven't seen this in print yet, but it's very important to be able to deploy your solution and drive the value. If you just build the solution, uh, capture the insight, but nobody's using it, you haven't really moved the ball forward, at least in business. And I don't know where this is, is taught, but I have some uh, suggestions. But I think the schools are doing a good job at building programs for the uh, left side and over time, I think we'll see more on this side as well. So let's see. These are sample programs, three different schools. As Susan mentioned, there are thousands of universities we're working with to help build new programs. These are just a sample. But you can see one is in the, in, in the business school. The other two relate to engineering or computer science, information management. So there's all kinds of different places you can put your program. But the skills look pretty similar in that they're, not, they're more about the analytic part side rather than the business side. And to couple the analytic skill with what an industry would want when they hire a student, there's a couple things I can suggest. One is an MBA course. If you've got the time, 
to get a CS uh, undergraduate degree in analytics, then move to an MBA school, you'll get that business acumen. You'll pick up some of that skill that's needed in industry. That's not the only way, though. Um, I've co-authored a book with Maureen Norton, uh, also Brenda Dietrich. This, if you're teaching, you can request a free copy from Pearson. Um, but this has 31 case studies that IBM used internally. What are we doing with analytics to get value? And so it's a way of understanding what problem can be solved easily. Um, another is we have intern programs that are very effective. If you can, with, after you have your degree or as part of it, have a summer or a semester as an intern with an industry uh, employer, that's a good way to practice some of the things that you've learned and build up a few more skills. So that's what I have, I think, yes.